Gemini 3.0 Pro hidden features are insane. Today I'm going to show you the hidden features in Gemini 3.0 Pro that nobody is talking about. So this stuff is brand new and it's going to change how you use AI. I found features that can automate your entire business workflow in minutes, no complicated setup, no technical skills needed. This is the easiest way to save hours every single day. Let's get into it. So Google just dropped at Gemini 3.0 Pro and most people have no idea what this thing can actually do. Everyone is talking about the basic stuff, but there are hidden features that are absolutely crazy, features that can transform how you work. I'm talking about real tools that can save you hours every single day. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Let me show you what I found. First thing you need to know, Gemini 3.0 Pro has a 1 million token context window. That's not just a number. That means you can feed it 1,500 pages of text at once. You can give it 50,000 lines of code. You can upload 30 entire documents and it will remember everything. Think about what that means for your business. You can upload every customer email from the last year, every sales call transcript, every marketing report and ask it questions about all of it at once, no more searching through folders, no more trying to remember where you saved that one document, just upload everything and ask. Here's how you use this for the AI Profit Boardroom. Let's say you wanna analyze all your customer feedback, you upload every comment, every review, every support ticket, then you ask Gemini to find patterns. What are customers asking for? What problems keep coming up? What features do they want? Gemini reads through everything and gives you a complete analysis. That would take you days to do manually. Gemini does it in minutes, but here's where it gets interesting. Most people don't know about the thinking level parameter. This is a hidden setting that changes how deep Gemini thinks before it answers. There are two levels, low and high, low is fast, high is slow, but way smarter. When you set thinking level to high, Gemini spends more time reasoning through your question. It explores multiple ways to solve the problem. It checks its own work. It gives you better answers. This is perfect for complex tasks like writing code, planning campaigns, analyzing data. Let me show you an example. Say you want to create a new landing page for the AI Profit Boardroom. You could ask Gemini on low thinking level and get a basic page, or you could set it to high and get something incredible. With high thinking level, Gemini will analyze your target audience. It will research what converts best. It will write copy that speaks to pain points. It will design a layout that guides people to take action. All because you changed one setting. Now, if you want to dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Gemini 3 Pro. The link is in the comments and description. It's at school.com slash AI Profit Lab. Now let's talk about the media resolution parameter. This one is huge. Gemini can process images and videos, but you can control how carefully it looks at them. There are four settings, low, medium, high, and ultra high. Most people never change this. They stick with the default, but changing this unlocks massive value. Here's a real use case. Say you have screenshots of your website analytics. You want Gemini to analyze the data and find trends. If you use low resolution, it might miss small numbers, but if you set it to high resolution, it reads every detail, every metric, every percentage, and it gives you accurate insights. Or say you're doing a video tutorial for the AI Profit Boardroom community. You upload the video to Gemini with ultra high resolution. Now it can see every detail on screen, every click, every menu, every button. It can write a complete transcript with timestamps. It can create step-by-step -step instructions. It can even identify mistakes or areas where you could improve the tutorial, all from one video. This is how you scale content creation, record once, let Gemini analyze it, get multiple pieces of content out of it. Here's another hidden feature. Gemini 3.0 Pro can now handle multimodal function responses. That's a fancy way of saying it can work with images and PDFs when it uses tools. Before, when you asked Gemini to call a function, it could only return text. Now it can return images and documents too. What does this mean in practice? You can build automated workflows where Gemini generates visual content. Like say you wanna create social media posts for the AI Profit Boardroom. You give Gemini your brand guidelines as a PDF. You tell it what message you wanna share and it generates both the text and the image for the post, 
all in one go, no switching between tools, no manual design work, just automated content creation. Or imagine this, you're building an onboarding system for new AI Profit Boardroom members. You want to create personalized welcome packets. Gemini can generate a custom PDF for each member. It includes their name, their goals, recommended resources, and a personalized action plan, all created automatically based on their sign-up form. That's the power of multimodal function responses. Now let's talk about the biggest hidden feature, Deep Think Mode. This is Google's secret weapon, and it's only available to Ultra subscribers right now, but you need to know about this because it changes everything. Deep Think Mode uses something called parallel reasoning. Instead of thinking through a problem one way, it explores multiple solutions at the same time. It tests different approaches, it compares results, and then it gives you the best answer. This is how it beats every other AI model on the hardest tests in the world. On the humanities last exam benchmark, Gemini 3.0 with Deep Think scored 41%. That might not sound like much, but that test is designed to be so hard that AI can't solve it. Most models score under 20%. Gemini more than doubled that. And on the ARC AGI test, which measures how well AI can solve brand new problems it's never seen before, Gemini hit 45%. That's unprecedented. What does this mean for you? It means when you have a really hard problem, deep think mode can solve it. Complex coding bugs, business strategy decisions, market analysis, competitive research, things that would normally take hours of thinking and multiple people. Deep think handles it. Here's how you'd use this for the AI profit boardroom. Say you want to plan your content strategy for the next quarter. You could ask Gemini with deep think mode to analyze your audience, your competitors, trending topics in AI automation, and create a complete content calendar. It would explore different angles. It would test different approaches, and it would give you a strategy that's better than what most marketing teams would come up with. Or say you're stuck on a technical problem, you're trying to automate something but you can't figure out the code, you enable deep think mode and explain the problem. Gemini will explore different solutions, test different approaches, and give you working code with explanations. It's like having a senior developer even on call 24 seven. Now I need to tell you about the streaming function calling feature. This is super technical, but it matters. When Gemini calls a function, it used to wait until it had the complete answer before showing you anything. Now it streams the answer as it's thinking. You see results in real time. Why does this matter? Speed, user experience. When you're building AI tools for the AI profit boardroom, you don't want users waiting with a blank screen. You want them to see progress. With streaming function calling, they watch as Gemini works. They see it gathering data. They see it processing. They see results appearing. It feels faster even if the total time is the same. This is huge for building AI apps. Here's something else nobody talks about. Gemini 3.0 Pro is way better at understanding context and intent. Google trained it to read between the lines to understand what you actually want, even if you don't explain it perfectly. This means less back and forth, less clarifying, less frustration. Let me give you an example. Say you ask Gemini to help you write an email to potential customers for the AI Profit Boardroom. You don't need to explain your entire business model. You don't need to give it your brand voice guidelines. You don't need to list out every feature. Just tell it what you want. Gemini understands from context. It knows you run an AI automation community. It knows your audience is business owners who want to save time. It writes accordingly. This is what separates Gemini 3.0 from earlier models. It reads the room, it gets what you're trying to do, and it helps you do it without making you explain everything. Now, if you want to dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Gemini 3 Pro. And if you want the full process, SOPs and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. The link is in the comments and description is at school.com slash AI Profit Lab.